Hola, hola, lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to finally be decorating for Christmas. I'm so excited. As you can tell behind me, I already got started. I used a lot of my old pieces. Um, most of it is my old pieces, but I did move things around a little bit so the video wouldn't be exactly the same as last year's. If you missed last year's video, make sure you watch that. I will link that right up here. And yeah, so let's get started. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're so close to reaching 4,000 subscribers my, on my little YouTube channel. So thank you so much if you've already subscribed. It means the world to me. So yeah, let's get, oh, one more thing. I'm so scatterbrained today. <laughs> um, I am going to film, obviously, me decorating uh, the little bit that I have left. But my favorite part about Christmas decor is then how it looks at nighttime. All the twinkly, pretty, warm Christmas lights. I absolutely love it. So the first half of the video, I will show you guys a quick little tour during the day. But my favorite part is obviously at nighttime. So later on tonight, I am going to film the nighttime part and obviously include that in the video. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. And yeah, so let's go. Let's get started. So I put everything that's going to go outside right here, so I need to take off all the tags. This is the reality of my living room at the moment. Julian just can't keep things clean. There's toys everywhere, so let's clean. Ready? Click. The you wish it was that easy? <laughs> okay, so I just finished cleaning up the living room, so we'll go ahead and put the ornaments on the tree. You can't even see my tree, but it's back there. And I'll show you guys how that basket I bought at Target looks. I think it looks so beautiful. And we actually struggled with my husband and I both love the way that it looks without ornaments. I feel like the basket adds such a cool feature. So we were kind of debated if we should put balls on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And if I don't like it, I'll take them off, right? But I think I'll most likely keep them on. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, now we're in my dining room and I just 
have this, it's like a fall arrangement, so the way, and a quick tip, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last year, I might have, um, it's just to put, add ornaments to it and make it obviously the same ornaments you put all around your house or around the tree. Just add those to any flower arrangement and ta-da, you have a Christmassy touch to your decor. So I moved the hot cocoa station over to the dining room area, put my clear here because there's a connection right there. So if someone wants hot chocolate, I bought the hot chocolate on Amazon, a huge little pack. So if you guys are interested in that, this I also bought on Amazon. Um, these hot cocos are from last year. They probably have them this year or something similar at Kirkland's. This is from Hobby Lobby from a few years ago and I actually bought that for Julian's first birthday and it says JP's hot chocolate and I just used a um, what's it called? <laughs> a marker, a gosh, really Yvonne, like does your brain work today? A chalk marker to put his name on it. I put two little ornaments here like I mentioned before. Adding little ornaments here and there around your house adds that little touch you need um, for Christmas. So here's my little hot cocoa station for this year. I also have this cute little sign that I found at the Target dollar spot a few months ago. It says hot cocoa warm chocolate and I just added it down on the bottom of the shelves. Oh, and there it goes. I'm gonna break it. But yeah, let me show you what the final result of the dining room floor arrangement looks like. Turned out pretty cute. Okay, and all the floral pieces that I showed you guys that I bought at Joann's and I told you guys I went a little crazy. This is what it turned out. Look, I love it, you guys. It turned out really, really cute. I felt it in. I cut some of the stems because they were really, really long, but I love the way that it turned out. I love these little fluffy cotton balls and these are my favorite too. Absolutely love them. So if you're looking to make your own arrangement, it was totally easy to make and it looks really, really cute here in the kitchen. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I know some of you are wondering how the heck I was going to put that together. And yeah, that's what it turned out. So I love it. Okay guys, and here is my console table. Obviously my little sign that I absolutely love because I get to change the words whenever I feel like it. And I put 30 days till Christmas. Don't quote me on the 30 days. <laughs> I couldn't find the right number, so for now it's 30 days. It's close enough, right? It's really, really close. I also been to, uh, went to a vintage market and I bought these cute little beads, so, so adorable. I will link similar, obviously, will link similar down below. I also went to Dallas market with a good friend and I bought this cute little, I will do close-ups for you guys, it's like a little camper and has a tree on it and it's like that cute teal color. This is from Target, the little trees are from Target, I also bought this cute one also from Target and these are new, they are available at the moment, I will do my best. Then my cool hands that I absolutely love to fill as well with ornaments, so that's what I did there and then down here I just uh, folded some cozy throws in the basket and I added these cute little snowflakes down here and these are from Kirk no sorry from Hobby Lobby and these are still available at Hobby Lobby as well and then my little sign that I made it's just a chalkboard and I wrote on there so that's what my little console or is it a console table? It's like, it's behind the couch. I absolutely love this table. I will link it down below for you guys because it's really good, good, affordable price. And it's really sturdy and I love the color. And it's a little distressed, which is perfect when you have a little one. So yeah, that's what my console table looks like. Okay guys, now to this part of the house. This is the fireplace mantle. I put my little throw, throw ladder here just because it fits the spot perfectly and it adds that cozy touch that I love. And all my throws, this one's from Target, Home Goods, Walmart, and Ikea. So a little bit of everywhere. But anytime I see one that I love, I get it. I don't think about it just because I know it's going to look so cute on the ladder. 
This is from Target. I call this one Toby's little um, stocking. It's so cute and it has the little sequins on it. That is from Hobby Lobby. Absolutely love that piece. And it goes perfect and fits that little spot right above the ladder perfectly. So I put that there. These lanterns I, I'm obsessed with. I love them and they're good for year round. So I really don't move them. The candles are on at the moment because Julian is at my mom's house. Otherwise, he'd probably burn himself. It's too much. So here's my little tip for you guys. If you have those fairy lights, you can get them on Amazon, especially Target right now. Or in the Christmas light section, they have a whole bunch. Or if you have a Sam's or Costco card, they have large quantities for like $9.99. And what you do is you just put a little battery pack in there and you wrap it around the candles and turn them on and it's just as good as having the candles on and that way your kids don't get burned and it's safer. So, um, absolutely love these lanterns and they add that little extra cozy touch to the fireplace. I don't turn on my fireplace obviously because of Julian and I'm afraid because it's a gas one and I'm a big baby. I'm afraid of blowing the place up. <laughs> I'm crazy. So, Christmas tree, they're from Home Goods, and they're that like plasticky material which I love so it doesn't make a mess all over the place and these little deers absolutely love them I put them here last year as well and I think the only difference from last year is I put the little these candle holders they're from the Z gallery um, up here otherwise I think everything is the same these are from Target love them I've had them for years great great quality Moving on, my cute, cute little sleigh that I bought at Home Goods last year, and it was like an off-white color, so I went ahead and painted it white, and I think it looks much, much better now. And I added my cute little tree in here. This tree I bought last year in the clearance section after Christmas, actually two years ago, at, at home. It's kind of confusing to say that. <laughs> Not at home, but I bought it at the store at home for like $10. So make sure after Christmas you get, you can save so much money. Um, so yeah, it's like an ombre turquoise. It goes from turquoise to white. Absolutely fell in love with it. I'm not gonna put ornaments on it. I love it just like this. And it looks so cute and cozy at night. And then I added this cute little fur throw in here just to make it like snow kind of you know you get, you get the the schnizz but it looks so so cute then moving on my little turquoise basket with it has a little turquoise pillow in here this is from home goods and my cute little throw anything that has pom-poms on it i'm a sucker for and this i bought also after christmas like two years ago at target then my cute vases, you guys know I have these, three of them, they're my absolute favorite. I bought these so long ago at the Z Gallery as well. And these are old as well from World Market and what I love is that they're super tall. So I've had those for years. So to make it a little different and more wintry, I added these cute sticks that I found at Hobby Lobby. They're only like $5 for three pieces and I bought a whole bunch of little packs and put them in the vases at the bottom So it adds that little winter touch and yeah, I think it looks super cute. So that's my mantle for this year Okay, here is also the other flowers that I bought at Joann's that I showed you guys in my little haul. These turned out so perfect for the vase. I didn't even have to cut them or anything. I moved them here just for a second to show you guys because I have those big, huge windows behind me and it's a little difficult to record because the sun blinds the camera, but look how beautiful these are. Absolutely recommend these. They're only like $3 at Joann's. So if you're looking for something to fill your bases, and it even has like this cute cotton, fake snow, these pretty, full of glitter, just beautiful. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. So this is also on the table, and this is from Bath & Body Works with a Christmas candle in there. And this is what the vase looks like. See how I told you guys it kind of distorts it because the window light behind it, but it looks so beautiful and perfect with the two chairs. 
right here. And then obviously you guys, I showed you me putting the Christmas tree together. I love the way that it turned out. It's just simple, beautiful, and it goes with all the colors of my home. And my favorite part is the new basket from Hearth and Home from Target. Absolutely love and recommend it. And I will link it down below for you guys. All right guys, the coffee table I showed you guys, just put a candle, a cute little flower arrangement, and Julian's favorite Christmas books. So that's all that's gonna go on the coffee table. And the TV station, it's pretty much the same. Nothing really changed. I just put a little snowflake right there. And I showed you guys this before, but I totally recommend this. It's on YouTube, it's called Fireplace, and it has live crackling sounds as if it was a real fireplace, except this one's safe. <laughs> so I love that if you want to add it to your home it's super easy we have Chromecast and that's how we um, display it on the TV for this corner it didn't change much if it ever focuses it come on focus please focus there we go this Eiffel Tower you guys absolutely loved last year and I love the way that it looks at night it just twinkles like the real Eiffel Tower and I bought that a long time ago at Big Lots obviously I will link similar ones for you guys down below then this is you guys saw it on the recent video as well I did move around these two frames just because I love the way that it looks this way and for my little glass jar I little stem in there with the two little fluffy balls and it's really really cute then for here simply uh, my little nutcrackers that are also old from Target these deers are from home goods and a little secret the little antlers from this guy broke but I just broke the other one off and you can't even tell and it looks great <laughs> Then up here, my little merry and bright sign. It's from Hobby Lobby. My trees are from Target and these are also from Target as well. So this is what this little corner looks like. Looks really cute. I can't wait to show you guys at night because I love the way everything twinkles with the little lights. Okay, and for the bar area, these are new. I bought these at Hobby Lobby, and everything at Hobby Lobby that is Christmas is 50% off, so they were a really great, great deal. And I love the wood accent on it, my favorite. You guys know I'm trying to add more of that to my home. These little trees I showed you guys from the haul, they're from Target, only $3, and I added those to the bar as well. Then up here, I just put the little trees up here. I think it looks so cute. And my little sign says, Love Girls Best in Little Houses, just like this. And this is from Hobby Lobby as well. And that's simply what I did for the bar. It, I kept it simple this year, but I love the way that it looks. And when you add, turn on the light, it just adds a little glow. Obviously, I'll show you guys at night. Then for the entryway of my home, I put the big Oh Christmas Tree sign from Joann's right there. I think it looks so good. And what I love about it is that it matches my little rustic trees from at home. These are available, so let's cross our fingers at Black Friday, which is just a few days away. We'll have these for $29.99 because they're so cute. I think you guys should have them. <laughs> and then again, like I mentioned, I put those branches and these tall vases that have snow on them. And let me go walk on this side so you guys can see how everything looks so I think it looks so cute so when you walk in as soon as you walk into my home you know oh this is a crazy Christmas lady but I love the way that it looks so you walk in and this table you guys I'm so excited will be going soon I bought a new one and I'm so excited to put it up but we'll leave that for a future video so this little tree is also from Home Goods, and that little stand is from Hearth and Hand. I think they still have that, I'm not sure. From Hearth and Hand from Target, and that's all I added to that side. And a little mantle, and a coffee, or not coffee, couch table, my tree back there. All right, lovelies, this concludes our daytime little Christmas home decor. Everything's good, everything's done, I think. 
for now. <laughs> I think I'm done decorating for Christmas, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. So now let's turn it down a notch and let's make it super cozy because it's going to be nighttime soon and I can't wait to show you guys. Alright guys, that's it. You made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little home tour of my Christmas decor and also watching me decorate a little bit here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, have you guys decorated for Christmas yet? Let me know down in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my little YouTube family. If you love the video, make sure you leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye!